Hello, I am so glad that you are joining us today. Let's start with some worship songs. today. Last week, we learned about making a difference by being the salt and the light. Food tastes different when we put salt on it, and objects look different when we shine light on them. 
We can be the difference that people need as we learn how to be the salt and light. Today, we are going to learn about another important lesson from Jesus' teachings. Only this one is about loving our enemies. Seems crazy, doesn't it? Let's see what our friends at Grow TV have to say about that. Hey friends, I'm here with my best bud, Chip. Hello. You all are here just in time. Tomorrow is the second annual Birds of Flight Paper Airplane Derby at school, and Chip and I are a team. Yep, a great team. The best team. Well, actually, last year, we finished second to Lee and Channing. Oh, yeah, Lee and Channing. They make paper airplanes that are so fast. They're like, Remember how they celebrated so much right in front of us? That wasn't nice. Yeah, I, I saw them pointing and laughing at our plane before we raced. We have to win this year. Yeah, let's do this. I want to win really bad. This is how you make a paper airplane. Step one, get a piece of paper like this. Step two, fold it or um, have your mom or dad or someone else fold it. Help! Step three, decorate it with markers. Make sure to add the words win. I don't feel good about this. Even though they weren't that nice to us, it doesn't feel right to focus so much on winning. Yeah, I think you're right. Friends, let's check out our Bible story while Chip and I try to figure out what we should do. It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Matthew chapter 5. Before they learned from Jesus, people were used to doing what they thought made sense. They were kind to those who were kind to them and unkind to those who were unkind to them. After all, those people were being mean to them. So shouldn't they act the same? But Jesus taught them something different in Matthew 5:44. Jesus says, love your enemies. Do you know what an enemy is? An enemy can be someone who you don't really get along with. Someone who you might not want to spend time with because they're unkind. Jesus taught everyone that they should love both their friends and their enemies. Why? Well, if you love your friends, and hate your enemies, people will look at you and they say, oh, they're just like everyone else. But if you show love and kindness to someone who treats you unkind, then people will look and say, whoa, that person loves people who doesn't like them back. They're kind to everyone and hate no one. They will want to know where in the world does that kind of love comes from and you'll be able to tell them. Jesus taught us how to love our enemies. Whoa! So Jesus wants us to love people that we might see as our enemies? Chip, I think I know how we should decorate our plane for the derby. Me too. Step four, draw as many hearts on your airplane as you can fit. Step five, you're done! Chip, I think we're ready for the race. I know we are. Lee and Channing might laugh at our plane, but we will just wish them luck. They might win again, but instead of being sad or mad, we will tell them good job. Yep, it's all good. We're just gonna smile and have a good time because Jesus taught us how to love our enemies. Let's go fly our, what should we call our plane? How about the Love Jet? I like it. The Love Jet is ready for takeoff. Thanks for learning and growing with us. Bye, friends.
every day But sometimes I lose my way Who can help me? Who's seen it all? And who knows it all? There is someone that we can call To pick us up whenever we fall There is nothing he can to love people who care for us and care about us. It isn't as easy to love people who are unkind to us. Jesus told us that how we treat those difficult people says a lot to the world around us. Let's ask God to help us love people that seem unlovable. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us and for caring for us even when we are unlovable. And God, help us look at the people around us who might be difficult to love and help us love them like you love us. We love you so much and we're so thankful that you sent your son. Amen. Thanks again for joining me today.